All right. Happy Monday. You know, usually Mondays we struggle to get back into the groove and sometimes the weather doesn't cooperate. It cooperated today. Beautiful day, little on the cool side thanks to a northerly wind. We topped out at 65. We'll be about that tomorrow, but we're going to take away the wind. Then we're going to turn wind to the south later this week, and that zooms us into the mid-70s. Remember, it's the end of October, and our average high is now about 69. So while we were below it to start the week, we will not be later this week, including for... Halloween on Wednesday should be a really nice day. We do have a cold front and some rain to talk about later this week. I'll get to that in just a second. But the radar is off and really we turn the satellite off. I mean, not a cloud in the sky today. Temperatures still in the 60s across most of the area, whether it's low 60s from the triangle on north or mid to upper 60s down south. It actually feels like the end of October. And as we head into tonight, it's going to get chilly. In fact, cold in some spots. We might even have a, some patchy frost, nothing widespread though. So with clear skies, dry weather for the foreseeable future, we'll drop down to 55 at 8 o'clock, down to the low 50s late tonight into the 40s overnight. And then you're out the door tomorrow morning, 40 degrees. That's about 10 degrees colder than it was this morning. So you might need to layer up one more time as you start your Tuesday. So here is the surface map. We look at the big picture and really you just kind of step back and there's like not a lot going on. And that usually means good things if you've got to be outside. So high pressure really in control. Sure, there's a little bit of rain well to our north, but that's not going to mess with us for several days. So the maps go into motion. Notice the high pressure shifts around tomorrow. We don't have that northerly wind anymore. Tomorrow's kind of an in-between day, but it's still going to be equally as sunny as today was. Then, as we said on Wednesday, that wind shifts more to the south. And as we all know, that's a warmer wind. So it'll be warmer on Halloween, Wednesday, but still plenty of sunshine. There's our next cold front. It doesn't get here until Thursday night or Friday morning. We're still trying to fine tune the timing, but we do know it's going to cool us down eventually, and it's also going to bring us some rain. So as we work out that timing, here's kind of the big picture idea, Thursday and Friday. Thursday is still going to be warm. Friday will be cooler. The rain will arrive later in the day Thursday, maybe even Thursday night, and it'll stick around through early Friday morning. So that could shift a little bit, but no, we do have a cold front coming later this week, so enjoy the warm weather that's about to come. I'm not ready to call tomorrow warm, just not as windy. Temperatures about the same as today, but it's going to feel warmer because we don't have that chilly north wind. And that means 66 in Lillington, 65 in Sanford, 69 in Fayetteville, up I-95 into Johnston County, about 60. 66 degrees, 68 down in Goldsboro, 66 also in Rocky Mount. Here in the Triangle, again, about where we were today, that's about 65 or 66, and we'll keep it in the low 60s up by the Virginia border. So that's still kind of cool, kind of October-like, but it's not going to feel very October-like on Wednesday. Daytime highs in the 70s, and for you trick-or-treaters, the sun officially sets at 620 starts to get dark a little after that. So if you're going out at 6, about 70 degrees. If you're going out at 7 o'clock, Wednesday night it'll be 67, mid-60s at 8 o'clock. And let me tell you, we have had much, much colder Halloweens, as you know. So we're pretty happy with what we got coming our way later this week. So another day in the 60s tomorrow. Then we jump into the 70s, Wednesday and Thursday. There's our cold front Thursday night. Notice what it does to our temperatures. Drops us some 10 degrees Thursday into Friday. We will stay in the 60s this weekend. And it is my favorite weekend of the year. It is a 49 hour weekend because this is the weekend we turn our clocks back one hour. Nobody is on time to church on Sunday morning and everyone's still trying to figure out what's going on by Monday, but it's a 49 hour weekend.